In this lecture, you will learn how to add CSS styles to a component. Here, we have created our app component and this app component is going to render an H1 element, a paragraph and an input element in the browser. Now, from here, let me remove this input element. Let's keep this component as simple as possible. And don't worry, we will create complex user interfaces as we move along with this course. All right, now let's say to this H1 element and to this paragraph element, we want to add some CSS styles. To do that, in HTML, what we do is we provide a class to the element for which we want to add some CSS like this. And then in the CSS, we add some CSS styles for this class. But in case of JSX, instead of using class, we use class name. Why? Because ultimately, this JSX will be first compiled to JavaScript. And in JavaScript, a class is a reserved keyword. So that's why instead of using class, we use class name. Okay, so keep this point in mind. And in the same way for this paragraph also, let's provide a class name and let's call it my paragraph. All right. Now let's go ahead and let's create a CSS file. So in that CSS file, we will write all the CSS styles for this app component. So inside this source folder, let's create a new file and let's call this file app.css. And this app.css file is going to have the CSS styles for this app component. So here we are using this class name. So let's copy this class name and let's paste it here. And since it is a class name, we need to use a dot before it. And now we can go ahead and we can add some CSS style. So let's say we simply want to set the color to maybe red. And let's say we want to set font size to maybe 35 pixel. Let's also go ahead and let's copy this class name and let's use it here. And let's add some CSS here. Here, let's set the font family. Let's select the first one and let's also set font size maybe to 16 pixel. Okay, so here we have created a CSS file for this app component and inside this CSS file, we have written some CSS styles. Then in the app.js using this class name, we are specifying a class name for these elements. Finally, we need to import this CSS file in this app.js file. Otherwise, this app.js would not come to know where to find this my header and my paragraph CSS classes. So at the top, let's say import and we want to import app dot. So first we need to use dot slash and then app dot CSS. Let's save the changes and let's go to the web page. And you will notice that those CSS classes have been applied on this header and on this paragraph element.